Hello and welcome back. Today we are showing you the progress of one of our wines we started making before we began recording. This one is a wine made out of 100% grape juice. We wanted to make a dry wine, which is why we calculated the original gravity to be around 1.110. That amounts to about 660 grams of sugar added to the sugar already in the juice. The result was 1.11. Two. Close enough. Apart from our yeast EC1118, we also added 5 grams or 1 teaspoon of DAP. The wine started fermentation on 27th of December 2022. That means it was sitting for two weeks and one day when we did our first reading. And in this time, the gravity dropped all the way down to 0.995 way more than expected, but in a good way. After a quick taste test, it was clear this wine needed to sit a bit longer. Though given the fact the gravity dropped so low, we decided to rack it right away. For this process, we have our racking canes sanitized and ready. Transferring the wine is easily done by putting the full fermenter elevated, for example on a bucket, and pump the cane until the liquid flows all the way through the tube to the empty fermenter. You don't want chunks of yeast slipping through the rucking process to the new fermenter. So better not try to get every last drop of wine out of the old one. Otherwise, you will have to rack more often. After the wine is successfully transferred, we put our label back on it and let it rest. 15 days later, we got back to it. We took another reading to make sure the fermentation was done. And it turned out the gravity stayed at 0.0. 995. The low gravity and the long resting time made the decision to bottle easy. The bottles we use are old beer bottles from various different brands. They are swing top bottles. If there is some rust fermentation happening after we bottle, the buildup pressure will most likely result in the top just popping off instead of the whole bottle exploding. For bottling we recommend a bottling cane. It has a removable valve that lets fluid go through by pushing the tip down and stops the flow when released. This way we can fill the bottles precisely without making a mess. Again, keep some left over in the fermenter so the potential yeast cake that traveled over from the last racking process does not end up in the bottles. From 4 liters of juice we got 5 0.5 liter bottles and one 1 liter bottle. The 1 liter bottle we will let age for a longer period of time. But the other ones might not survive that long. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.